This is the Apple HomePod, and when you put your iPhone on top of it, it will automatically play the music on the iPhone. This is a Sony speaker, and when you put your phone on top of it, it does nothing. So today, I'm fixing this problem by using Lego Technic, making the Sony speaker play the music on your iPhone when you put it on top of it. Apple uses Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to detect the iPhone, but there are no such things in LEGO Spike Prime. RIP to Autolite Pro. The distance sensor is pretty good because it knows how far away the device is, but it doesn't recognize which device, so it's useless. The pressure sensor is even worse because now it, you need to press it for it to work. The color sensor is pretty much our last hope and it will work because it can detect different kinds of colors. So we just slap two of them onto the speaker and we just make a custom colored paper and put it on the back of the device. Now the color sensor can scan which device it is. All right, so now we can just quickly build a base around the speaker so we can mount the color sensors onto it. And we're finished. Thank you guys for watching this video. Just kidding. Now. We, the hub knows which device it is, but we need, number one, a way to connect, and number two, to play the music. Do you know when you disconnect to a device, and then the next time you have both device Bluetooth on, it will connect automatically? Well, that's what I'm gonna do. All right, guys, so it might not have been a surprise for you, but, well, I actually finished my Sony Lego HomePod. Well, I did some testing through the um, Apple website using the AR, and the height is, mine is a bit higher, and the width is pretty much the same, and pretty much everything else is the same, except mine is definitely way more cooler. So, over on the top is a distance sensor, and then there's the color sensor. So, the distance sensor will detect how far away the phone is. And then the color sensor is going to detect the color of the phone or the backplate on the phone. Once it's been detected, the motor over here is going to press the power on button and then once it's been connected, it will press the play button to start playing the music on the phone. So that is basically how everything works. Time for testing time, but wait. First, we got presenting. So now the phone is not connected to Bluetooth. And then the phone will get closer, in which the sound effects is going to get louder. Once it's detected, the color sensor will detect the color. And then, this is going to press the power on button, which will automatically connect to the iPhone. And then, it is going to press the play button, which is going to play the music on the iPhone, just like that.